The Last of Us was released in 2013 by Naughty Dog. The action-adventure game immediately gained ardent fans who were intrigued by Joel and Ellie's adventure. In this film, Joel, a smuggler, and Ellie, a teenage girl, attempt to cross the United States in a post-apocalyptic America. HBO is now bringing The Last of Us to the big screen. The proposal was approved by the network in November of 2020, and here's everything we know so far. Riley is being played by Storm Reed. Reed is most known for her role as Gia Bennett in HBO's Euphoria, in which she co-stars with Zendaya and Maude Apatow. The teenage actress made her big screen debut in 2013's 12 Years a Slave, and went on to play more major roles in films, including A Wrinkle in Time, The Invisible Man, and The Suicide Squad. Her appearance in The Last of Us TV show almost indicates that the series will adapt the plot from the Left Behind DLC, which follows Ellie and Riley as they navigate a post-apocalyptic Boston before meeting Joel in the first game. Storm Reed will appear as a guest star. According to Deadline, the actress would portray Riley Abel, a post-apocalyptic Boston orphan who endures with Ellie before meeting Joel. She appears in the Left Behind DLC for The Last of Us, as well as American Dream, a Dark Horse comic series created by Neil Druckmann. Riley Abel was included in the Left Behind DLC, which was published many months after The Last of Us. Ellie's character was important to her, so even though she'll only appear in one episode, the adaptation should make this apparent. In the game series, Riley is an orphaned youngster battling for survival in a post-apocalyptic Boston. Riley appears in both the DLC The Last of Us, Left Behind, and the four-issue comic book The Last of Us American Dreams as the deuteragonist. Ellie, the main character in the game, finds Riley, and they become best buddies before we encounter Joel. It remains to be seen whether the origin story for these individuals will remain the same, but it sounds like this cast really nails it, though. Who else should we expect to see in the cast besides Riley? Ellie and Joel, the main characters, have already been cast by HBO. The casting of Pedro Pascal as Joel is ideal. Ellie will be played by Bella Ramsey, who's well known for her role in Game of Thrones as Lyanna Mormont. That, too, is excellent casting. We're really looking forward to seeing the two of them together. And, according to The Hollywood Reporter, Merle Dandridge is also set to reprise her part from the video game. Dandridge played Marlene in both The Last of Us games and will reprise her role in the TV series. Joel's daughter, according to Deadline, will be played by Nico Parker from Dumbo. Meanwhile, Anna Torf from Mindhunter will play Tess, according to Entertainment Weekly. Tess is reportedly Joel's longtime smuggling companion in the games, and they both survived in Boston through smuggling. Furthermore, according to Deadline, Jeffrey Pierce, who played Tommy in the video game series The Last of Us, will return as a different character, and Murray Bartlett will also join the cast. According to the source, Pierce will return as Perry, an insurgent in a quarantine zone, and Frank will be played by Bartlett as a guest star. Nick Offerman, who portrays Bill, will be joining them as well. Bill and Frank are two survivors who live alone in a small village in the middle of nowhere. So, what's the show about? We don't know much about the plot or how many episodes the show will have yet. In early reports, The Hollywood Reporter stated that HBO is focusing on the original game rather than the sequel, at least for now. And we're guessing the plot will be based on the award-winning video game. It takes place in the year 2030. Ellie is escorted out of a quarantine zone by Joel. As they move from east to west, they must rely on one another for survival. Prepare yourselves for a powerful and emotional narrative, according to all accounts. According to Druckmann, who revealed this to IGN at South by Southwest 2021, Season 1 will be the first game. However, because it's a new medium, they'll depart in various ways. For example, there's so much action in the game that you have to instruct the user on mechanics. HBO has been fantastic in encouraging the team that's developing the show to move away from intense action and instead focus on drama centered around the characters. What's the narrative of the game that the show is based on? In The Last of Us, tough guy survivor Joel Miller is recruited to accompany a team named Ellie through the apocalypse and to some doctors who believe Ellie may be the plague's cure. They run into usual post-apocalyptic stereotypes as they make their way from what used to be Boston to what's left of Salt Lake City, including nomad packs of sick people, a 
a couple of cannibals, some enormous jerks, and a giraffe who's fled from a zoo. While the series will most likely follow the plot of the original game, it is possible that it may include parts of The Last of Us 2, which takes place five years after the first game. However, parts from The Last of Us Left Behind, an Ellie-centric spin-off set before the events of the original game, appear to be more feasible. However, the series is planned to expand on the game's storyline, maybe including things that were previously omitted. The adjustments, according to Mazin, are intended to fill in the gaps and broaden the space, not to ruin, but to improve. They also stated that they haven't decided what would be included in the television series just yet. He said it wouldn't be cool if Joel and Ellie got on motorcycles and confronted a biker gang in one episode. They are connecting the fresh stuff and improving the narrative in organic, meaningful ways. Ways that they think aficionados of the game and newbies alike will enjoy. Who's producing the series? Some of the characters from the game will appear in the series. Druckmann, who wrote and co-directed the first game and co-wrote and co-directed the sequel, is one of the show's co-creators alongside Mason, and will likely write or co-write some episodes. While Evan Wells, the CEO of Naughty Dog, the company that created The Last of Us games, is one of the show's executive producers. As previously stated, some of the people who worked on The Last of Us video games will also be assisting HBO with the series. As well as the previously mentioned Druckmann and Wells, Gustavo Santolaya, who composed the music for both games as well as TV shows like Jane the Virgin and Making a Murderer, will contribute to the show. Asad Zilibash, who is also co-executive producing the next Uncharted film and whose name can be found in the credits of Sony games like Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima, and various God of War editions, will also be co-executive producing. The first episode and potentially more will be directed by Kantemir Balagov, who wrote and directed the Russian series Beanpole, with later episodes directed by Ali Abbasi, the writer and director of the 2018 film Border, and Jasmila Zabanik, who directed the Oscar-nominated 2020 film Quavadis Ida. Two more directors are expected to be announced for the series' 10-episode first season, but this initial lineup of acclaimed foreign filmmakers raises the bar significantly. The show's executive producers, including Carolyn Strauss from Game of Thrones and Chernobyl, and Rose Lamb from Altered Carbon, may be familiar to TV fans, but not necessarily to gamers. Who are the production giants involved in the project? On the business side, Sony Pictures Entertainment and PlayStation Productions are collaborating on The Last of Us. Breaking Bad, The Boys, and Seinfeld are just a few of Sony Picture Entertainment's famous projects. The Last of Us is PlayStation Productions' debut TV series and just their second announced development after, appropriately, the aforementioned movie based on Naughty Dog's Uncharted games. The film will be directed by Ruben Fleischer, who also helmed Zombieland and will star Tom Holland, the MCU's Spider-Man, Mark Wahlberg, and Antonio Banderas. So, when's the show going to premiere? We're anticipating that we won't see The Last of Us until around mid-2022 at the earliest, thanks to Neil Druckmann's recent announcement that production has been completed. The COVID-19 outbreak has had an effect on HBO's version of The Last of Us, as it has on all TV series these days. Unlike other ventures that started production and then had to halt, Mason and Druckmann have just recently moved on to the scheduling stage of the project, having mapped out what Mason refers to as the, quote, first cycle of the series. We know the series started filming as scheduled thanks to an Instagram picture by Gabriel Luna in early July of 2021. According to the Directors Guild of Canada, it's set to wrap up completely by June of 2022, so either we won't see the series until late 2022, or they're shooting two seasons at once, and the first season will come out sooner. In any scenario, The Last of Us isn't set to premiere on HBO until late 2022 at the earliest, which isn't great news for impatient fans, but it gives newcomers just enough time to finish the games before the series spoils some things. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you enjoyed our content, please smash that like button, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you next time.